Billy Idol, Money Money. A uh, real straightforward song here. Uh, nothing too crazy going on. Some cool uh, riffs to come in. Um, but uh, initially, with this song, uh, it's the guitar technically is you know just resting, and there's some synth chords that come in. So if you want to play the synth chords, uh, it's pretty simple. Um, we're basically we're just going to hit this uh, F sharp bar chord here, and uh, just hit it once. Keep it kind of a short staccato style. All right, and then just rest a measure. So just be. All right, and you kind of want to focus a little more on like the high end of it, because that's kind of how that synth sounds. All right, uh, so one measure, rest the second measure. Uh, next measure, we hit it again, and then just before that measure's out, we come down and we hit a B chord, okay, to finish that measure. All right, and then we would just go right back to that F sharp to start the last measure. All right, so we just put that all together. All right, and we just repeat that three times. All right, and then the guitar, like the actual recorded guitar, comes in, and uh, it comes up and does an F sharp power chord. But it's at a higher voicing now, so it's at nine on the uh, A, eleven, eleven on the D and G, and it just kind of hits that, and you can let it ring when you hit it. So hit it and let it ring for two measures. Okay, and then we come down here and we do a B power chord. All right, so two on the A, four, four on the D and G. Hit that for one measure. All right, and now we get to this section, and uh, you're gonna get real familiar with this section because it basically happens at the end of you know every different part of the song. So it's a it comes up to a, a C sharp five power chord. So four on the A, six and six on the D and G, and it kind of just builds. All right, so it's gonna be uh, two measures of just one strum. One measure of two strums. All right, and the last measure, we're just doing four strums, so just every beat strumming. Put that whole section together when the guitar comes in here. Now we can get into some uh, cool riffage here, and uh, this I, you call this the chorus, and uh, basically it's just kind of picking through like a bit of a scale here, where we'll hit a couple twos on the E because we're still in that F sharp mode. Okay, just then we come down, hit the two fours on the D, a couple twos on the D, and then back to two fours on the D. Just get that up to tempo, repeat it four times. Alright, and then simple enough after that, just take exactly what we did there, but then just drop it down a set of strings so that we're in that B key now, okay? Exact same thing, just up a set of strings. So a couple twos on the A, couple fours on the G, couple twos, back to the fours. Okay, and just repeat that four times. All right, so that's what's that's what's happening in the song. Um, if you didn't want to do that and you you know like you're just playing acoustic or you want to play rhythm, basically it's just rocking like an F sharp chord. All right, and then to a B chord. If you want to go that route, but playing that riff is way too fun, so you're gonna want to do that. And uh, like I said previous, like this section ends that same way with that C sharp power chord, same dynamic, same strumming and all that. So just right. they're all going to end that way. So you'll get to know that pretty well. All right. And then uh, we get to the bridge section and it's kind of a similar riff that happens. But uh, just a little spaced out, timed a little differently than the uh, chorus. All right, so we're going to be at that two on the E again. Uh, 
Now we go four, two on the D, four on the A, and then start the second measure just by hitting a second on the A and letting that uh, ring for the rest of the measure. do that about 16 times during the bridge there and that as well if you just wanted to do chords you would just strum F sharp one measure and then B one measure right. if you want to go that route for some reason all right and then you know as expected ends the same exact way as the other parts with the C sharp 5 that's all the parts for you and you're all set thanks for checking out the video everybody like it share it leave a comment it's always good to hear from you um, do me a favor and hit the subscription button i put out a video pretty frequent so you don't want to miss out on that uh, check out the links in the description box below i have really cool links for uh, tablature books all the gear i use t-shirts fun stuff like that so thank you very much and we'll see you next time